Hello boys and girls, I'm going to read you a book today about the Arctic habitat. So it says, what is a habitat? A habitat is a place in nature. Plants live in habitats and animals live in habitats. Some animals make home, homes in habitats. Living and non-living things. There are living things in habitats. Plants and animals are living things. There are also non-living things in habitats. Rocks, water, and dirt are non-living things. Everything they need. Plants and animals need water, air, and food. Water, air, and food help keep plants and animals alive. Plants and animals have everything they need in their habitats. This mink in the picture above found a fish to eat. Homes in their habitats. Some animals have homes in their habitats. This mother arctic fox has a home for her babies, a home for her and her babies. Their home is among some rocks. The arctic. The arctic is a habitat. It is at the top of the earth. The arctic is very cold. There is a lot of snow and ice in the arctic. Polar bears live in the Arctic. The Arctic Ocean, the Arctic Ocean. There is a very cold ocean in the Arctic. It's called the Arctic Ocean. Ice floats on the Arctic Ocean. Some animals rest on the ice. This harp seal is resting on the ice. Er, can you imagine sleeping on ice? The, um, the seals and the polar bears have a lot of fat on them. Um, and they also, the polar bears have fur, but um, the seal does not, does he? Or she. Arctic weather. The weather is very cold in the Arctic. There are long, cold winters. Winter lasts for most of the year. In winter, there are blizzards. Blizzards are snowstorms. Blizzards also have strong winds. Short summers. In the Arctic, summers are short. The weather is not very warm. The snow melts in only some places. Some plants grow in these places. Animals eat the plants. Some animals, such as this grizzly bear, go to the Arctic in the summer to eat plants. <laughs> Arctic plants. In summer, plants grow in the Arctic. The plants grow close to the ground because strong, cold winds blow. Growing close to the ground helps protect Arctic plants from these winds. Colorful flowers, ooh, those are beautiful. Some Arctic plants have, a co have colorful flowers. This plant is a dwarf willow herb. It has bright pink flowers. It grows only during summer. Plants make food. Living things need food to stay alive. Plants make their own food. They make food from sunlight, air, and water. Making food from sunlight, air, and water is called photosynthesis. Making food. A plant gets sunlight through its leaves. It also gets air through its leaves. A plant gets water through its roots. A plant uses sunlight, air, and water to make food. And the little uh, words right here says leaves take in air. Leaves take in sunlight and roots take in water from the soil. Arctic animals. Here are some of the animals that live in the Arctic. These animals live in the Arctic. The Arctic is their habitat. The animals find food in their habitat and they also find homes. So there's a snowy owl that lives there. Polar bears live in the Arctic. An Arctic tern is this bird right here. There's the Arctic fox. Seals live in the Arctic. There's a caribou. Oops. Turn the page too soon. Hopefully I can turn it back. Yep, and an Arctic squirrel. Hmm, I didn't know there was such a thing as an Arctic squirrel, did you? Caribou has big horns, doesn't it? Staying warm. Arctic animals need to stay warm. Many Arctic animals have thick fur. The fur covers their bodies. This musk ox has thick fur. Fur helps keep the musk ox warm. Warm blubber. Many Arctic animals have blubber under their skin. Blubber is thick layers of fat. Blubber 
helps keep the animals warm. This walrus has blubber under its skin. Finding food. Animals must search for food in the Arctic. Some animals eat only plants. Animals that eat plants are called herbivores. Lemmings are herbivores. So that's what lemmings are. Lemmings look like little hamsters or mice or rats or something like that, don't they? Omnivores. Some Arctic animals are called are omnivores. They eat plants and they also eat other animals. This ptarmigan is an omnivore, a bird right there. It eats plants, seeds, and insects. Ooh, look at the fox chasing after that rabbit there. Or I think it's called a hare. Getting energy. All living things need energy. They need energy to grow and move. Energy comes from the sun. Plants get energy from the sun. And animals get energy by eating food. A lemming is an herbivore. It gets energy by eating grass. Eating for energy. Carnivores, which are the animals that eat only meat, Carnivores get energy by eating other animals. An arctic fox is a carnivore. It gets energy by eating lemmings. Hmm, that's strange because when I read before, I thought that they were omnivores, that the arctic fox also eats berries and seaweed and other shrubs. Hmm, interesting. Staying safe. Some Arctic animals hunt other animals. The animals that are hunted need to stay safe. Animals stay safe in different ways. Some move very quickly. They can run away from animals that hunt them. This snowshoe hare can run quickly. We saw it in the picture before when it was running away from that Arctic fox. Hiding out. Some Arctic animals stay safe because other animals can't see them. This baby seal has white fur on its body. Its fur helps it blend in with the white snow around it. The baby seal is safe because it's hard to see. It's pretty cute, too. Arctic homes. Some Arctic animals make some Arctic animals make homes. <clears throat> they keep warm inside their homes. This mother polar bear has made a home for her babies. The home is called the den. The den is in the snow. Making nests. Many birds make homes called nests. Snowy owls, arctic terns, and other birds make nests. In summer, these birds lay eggs in their nest. Baby birds hatch from the eggs. The baby birds live in the nest. You have to protect them from the arctic fox, those eggs. Going to sleep. Winter in the Arctic is very cold. It's too cold for some animals. These animals go to sleep and they sleep all winter. They sleep in warm dens. This polar bear sleeps through the winter. The animals wake up. The sleeping animals wake up at the beginning of summer. They come out of their dens and they are hungry. They look for food to eat. Leaving the Arctic. Some, anim some Arctic animals do not sleep through the winter. They leave the Arctic before winter begins. They move to warmer places where they can find food. These Arctic terns are flying to a warmer place. Caribou groups. Caribou also leave the Arctic in winter. They leave in big groups. The groups of caribou walk to warmer places. Caribou sometimes swim across rivers during their trip. Burr. So that is the end of our book. We could take a quiz, but I think we'll skip it this time. What did you learn about the Arctic habitat and the animals that live there?